All right, so remember how a couple days ago, the last vlog, I took a video and said I was watching the El Kukui preview from TPA and put their link. This is the guy who actually designed it. Say hello. Hi, guys. So what is your name? I'm Rick West. Rick West. Okay, and you run Theme Park Adventure. I do run Theme Park Adventure. Okay, so how long have you been doing TPA, for short, yeah, TPA? In, se in September, we are going to be 20. Holy shit. So, 22, yeah. 20. Many so of you were suckling on your mommies and not even born. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're, uh, we're 20 this September. So what did you, so to start TP, how did it start off? Was it just like okay. a blog or how did it work? Yeah, no. So we started before the internet. There was no internet. If you can even imagine, there was no, there was no email. There were no cell phones with text messaging. None of that existed. So we started in print. Actually, we were one of very few fanzines that were in print. We started as a small uh, black and white news news uh, newsletter, and uh, we called our. We, we figured that we'd have feature issues that were big book-like things, which we eventually did, that were be under Theme Park Adventure. But in between those, we would have this little monthly newsletter called the Break Zone. And uh, on a roller coaster, a Break Zone is the part where you kind of like take a breather for a second before it gets crazy again. So that's where we came up with the name for that. Um, some of the very first things we did, we were invited to the um, one year anniversary of Luxor in Las Vegas when that opened. We were there for that. We were there for Desperado when it opened at State Line. I'm trying to think what some of our very first stories were. We covered the closure of the Skyway at Disneyland. Um, and then Disneyland actually recognized that we were the first fanzine to be recognized by Disneyland as legitimate media. And so I worked very closely with people like Tony Baxter and Marty Sklar and Susan Bonds uh, covering the opening, the construction and opening of Indiana Jones at Disneyland. Wow. So, and it's just kind of gone from there. So everything that has come since then we've covered and uh, of course we merged onto the internet and now we have a large website that's read by fans all over the world. And uh, that's that's what we do. That's pretty good. And now you guys also do a lot of uh, the haunt stuff too. You guys yeah. film every single, pretty much every event. We correct? get around, yeah. So TPA in '94, we were the first media that really was was interested in not Scary Farm and not just as a quick weather shot on a news channel, but as as you know, really getting behind the scenes and seeing what the people were that put on this event every year. And again, this is before the internet, so in hanging out with the monsters in Ghost Town and all that, it dawned on me pretty quickly that there were this, these guests that came to see their favorite monsters every year. Mm -hmm. This is before monsters really had their names on Twitter and on you know, their Facebook fan pages or whatever they have. But these fans were coming every year to see these same people in Ghost Town. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so we really got behind the scenes with Knots. We were the first to ever shoot, I, I remember the year I had a meeting with them and I said that we wanted to shoot um, build pictures. And they were really tripped out. They were like, why would anybody be interested in seeing construction pictures? Yeah. And now you can't imagine any haunt not showing construction pictures. Yeah. So we kind of blazed a trail for that. And then we began shooting flow throughs, which many of you guys hopefully have seen uh, on our TPA YouTube channel. And um, we, we have done that way, way back in the day we started doing that with VHS tapes. <laughs> and now we, we do it, you know, obviously in HD digital and uh, that's what we do every year. We love doing that. And it's expanded beyond, well beyond Halloween Haunt. We, uh, last year alone we covered about 30 haunts. Uh, 30 was the number. Anywhere from major things like Horror Nights and, and, and Haunt to Queen Mary to Home Haunts. We do home haunts, we love home haunts. Home haunters are great. That's where the heartbeat of this industry is. And uh, everything in between. And we, we love all that. And then we got involved with Scare LA. This is our second year. Produce, uh, Johanna and I are half of the production team of Scare LA. I'm the creative programming producer for the event in downtown Los Angeles at the Reef, and uh, which is formerly LA Mart. It's the Reef because, you know, you think of the ocean in the middle of downtown Los Angeles. And uh, so that's what we're doing. It's August 9th and 10th this year, which is uh, actually falling on the Haunted Mansion's 45th anniversary. So we're going to kick off the whole event with an awesome Haunted Mansion 45th anniversary presentation. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so right now I'm going to quickly put a, actually a short clip of me in Forevermore that they filmed last year. So I'm going to put it right here now. So that was me, and that's what it looked like. It was really cool to see them finally film. I was like, yes! So how does the how does the flow-through work? How do you guys plan it out? It's uh, actually pretty, um, it's pretty detailed of a process. We work it out, obviously, with knots. 
and we coordinate with security and we coordinate with the entire haunt team and so it's a fairly large operation we go through and systematically just take out every maze like one one at a time on a on a set night uh, but it's a full communication with all the operations people and so everybody knows that we're coming through and we go through when there are no guests in the maze because we don't want to impede their first and foremost we don't want to ruin their experience oh yeah and then second i don't want them ruining our flow throughs so <laughs> if you've been a monster if you've worked at the hunt you know how awesome people can be sometimes so we we don't want those two worlds colliding so we work it out with knots where we have a buffer where we go through and then it's a win-win for everyone because not only does it give fans something to watch around the world and we have people around the world that'll never probably come to california that get to see this and, and, and appreciate the uh, the artistic master master uh, it's a big word the artistic uh you know endeavor that haunt is from all these different disciplines mm -hmm. from the designers to the you know paint team to the build team everything and then to the talent you know, we want that to be as pure as possible. So if we don't have guests in it, that's awesome. It's a win-win for everybody. Everybody gets to show off their stuff, including you, who was in Forevermore. <laughs> so so it, it, it's yeah. a cool way to showcase Halloween Haunt, as well as any other event we go through. We, we never shoot with guests at any of our other events because we don't want to ruin their experience. Yeah. So last question for you. Yeah. What is the... What do you see in the foreseeable future for TPA going? Where do you want to take TPA from here? Wow, you know, um, we've been expanding. We, we have a lot of European uh, haunt fans. You know, it, it, it's funny to think that really here in Southern California, this whole culture, especially the fans that are into haunt and everything, you kind of forget that around the world, Halloween isn't really a thing, and haunted attractions aren't really a thing. It's really an American uh, phenomenon. And, but there are in, in other countries, and especially Europe now, you know, uh, in, in the UK, there's a lot of, of haunted attraction uh, activity going on. And so I think that the next big step for TPA, we're starting to see a lot of, of UK fans mm. that are starting their own haunt groups and their own haunted attractions. And we've started featuring those actually on TPA. Wow. Um, we, you know, from time to time over the past 20 years, we've, we've showcased, you know, different things from different countries at, at, at times. But... I'm starting to see that there's a lot of interest from haunters now across across the pond that are sending us videos and press releases and want us to get involved. So I think that in the immediate future, we're, we're going to really be expanding into UK fans, which is great. We, we love seeing that. And uh, we're just going to keep doing what we do. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Rick. <laughs> I'm so honored to have you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. All right. That was Rick Rest, you guys. Pretty fucking awesome.